crypto deal making hit record highs last year huge volumes which experts say could further influence investment decisions going forward the trading volumes for last year say in the u.s alone and europe were bigger than pre-pandemic times and this is mostly one attributed to the rise in digital money digital assets software now with a simple platform such as interactive bro interactive brokers you can be able to trade in the comfort of your sitting room but also there has been a big rush in what are called special acquisition companies or SPACs. so you've been seeing instead of listing direct ipos people have been going uh, to list uh, those special acquisition companies Peter Seranga is a Ugandan US based Massachusetts crypto dealer with MetaShield coin. This token is six weeks old. It was created November 20th and um, we hit our all time high market capitalization of 2 million in December. That's around 7.5 billion UGX. Our holders have continued to gain returns out of their investment. We hope to make 10 million. USD by March 2022. Common question, if for instance one is a MetaShield investor, how do I withdraw my money? Anytime you feel like you've made a good return on your investment, all you need is to have pancake swap, swap your shares into BNB, from BNB to USD or UGX, and then you have your money to account. But how do existing laws protect investors or coin holders? Whereas crypto is not regulated as a currency in Uganda, the, Ant Manuel, the Financial Intelligence Authority is now requiring crypto dealers and providers to register as virtual asset service providers or VASPs. And this is an international requirement. So when we are writing those contracts, we insert in a clause saying both parties have complied with that requirement. Recently, credit card company Mastercard announced its acquisition of crypto company Cyphertrace, while popular equities broker Robin Hood announced its faster crypto acquisition in December. Malcolm Sime, NTV Weekend Edition.